scripture. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. James 1.19 How will you put today's verse into practice? I will listen carefully before I respond to someone. I will intentionally practice showing empathy and compassion. I will look for opportunities to show forgiveness and understanding to others. I will listen carefully before I respond to someone. Cultural wars declare ceasefire. Devotional words. Social media is full of harsh comments, venting, unkindness, pointed opinions, pointed opinions, and very heated replies, and stroke the fire of senseless debate. Senseless debate. It's so much easier to sit back behind the screen and say things I would never say face to face. I can't count the number of times I've clicked send and then immediately wished I could go, could go, I could get the words back. How many times have you? You can't put toothpaste back in the tube and you can't take back words once they've been spoken or sent. If we aren't cautious, our opinions will turn into words spoken in judgments. Those words so easily typed or said can become daggers to the heart of the receiver. I know so many people, myself included, who have regretted words spoken or typed in a moment of, 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 of passion or frustration, but I've never known anyone who regretted withholding them. Words carry enormous power, the power to heal or wound, encourage or discourage, speak truth or deceive, praise or criticize. A great question to ask ourselves before we respond in the heat of the moment is, what is the potential outcome from the words I'm about to say? Will my words speak life or death? I'm learning that if I speak life, I shouldn't say or type anything. Sorry, I'm learning that if I can't speak life, sorry, I'm learning that if I can't speak life, I shouldn't say or type anything. 99% of the time, Jesus spoke to opportunity. He breathed life into people with his words. There was only one group of people Jesus ever had harsh words for, the Pharisees. Why? The words sucked the life out of people. The rules, regulations and rituals kept people from discovering a relationship with the one who came to fulfill the law they wanted to protect. They put conditions and on the unconditional love of Jesus. We have a choice every day when it comes to our words. We can, like Jesus, use our words to breathe life into people or we can use our words to suck the life right out of them. Let's look for opportunities to lay down our opinions and desires to be right and live in the strength and confidence of Jesus. Prayer. God, please make me quick to listen today. Show me how to love others sincerely and practically. Change the way I approach people by replacing my anger and frustration with grace, empty, peace and understanding. Fill me with your peace and love so that my attitude and actions reflect your character. In Jesus' name, Amen. Be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger, James 1.19.